Aston Martin's recent slump in performance seems to have worried the leadership of the team, to the point of Lawrence Stroll actually considering selling the ownership to one of the most interested companies to enter the sport. Over the last couple of years, Aramco's interest in the sport has skyrocketed as they're one of the team's and the sport's largest investors, but nothing would compare with them actually owning a race team. So, with the current interest and the slump in performance from Aston Martin, is Lawrence actually going to pull the plug on his entire F1 project? Aston Martin has had a very promising entrance into the 2023 season, especially with them actually being a top three team for the majority of the first season. Alonso managed to score seven podiums in the 2023 season, six of which were done in the first half of the season. And it goes without saying that this was the time that Aston Martin believed they were on top of things in the 2023 season. After all, they hired a bunch of technical staff from Red Bull and adopted the majority of the technical upgrades that the team had already implemented in the 2022 season. And it was only to be expected that Dan Fallows would have turned the team into instant competitors. But the jump from P7 in 2022 to P3 in 2023 was not to be expected. So, needless to say, the interest in Aston Martin has all of a sudden skyrocketed from all of the fronts, financial, technical and fan-based points of view. However, after the new tyre regulations from Silverstone onwards, it seems like Aston Martin has taken a bit of a step down, and they're very likely to lose fourth place in the Constructors' Championship as well, which, while would still be a huge win for the team, considering where they finished last year, is also a loss considering where they started the current season at. One of the main reasons behind Aston Martin's struggles is the performance of Lance Stroll, who just doesn't seem to care that much given the fact that his father owns the team, and therefore his seat is secured for the remainder of Lawrence Stroll's era in Formula 1. Quite honestly, the only reason Lawrence got into the sport was as an investor with Force India and then Racing Point, only to lead a consortium of investors from Aston Martin to lead a team and be competitive in the foreseeable future. Well, after signing the contract with Honda for 2026, many believe that Aston Martin has what it takes to race for wins in championships, even with Alonso being well in his 45th year of life. But now it seems like Lawrence Stroll's interest in the sport has dropped to a very low level, considering the fact that his son is not performing the way he should be. While the popularity of the sport has skyrocketed in the US, which could be largely influenced by the show Drive to Survive, F1 has reached levels it never thought it would reach a couple of years ago, with Hollywood and Brad Pitt being involved in filming a documentary movie, as well as Ryan Reynolds buying a 24% stake in the Alpine F1 team for a staggering $218 million. This is all said because I want you to understand how much money there is in the sport right now. Because if a team decides to sell, they're going to earn some big bucks. Lawrence Stroll initially received an offer of $800 million from Aramco one of the sport's main fuel suppliers and Aston Martin's primary sponsors. And even with the great financial opportunity that Stroll had in selling the team back when he received the offer, he didn't want to think too much about it and decided to go forward with his project. But one of the reasons why he believed he had a future in the sport is his son's performance, which has only gone from bad to worse in the previous couple of races. The horrifying crash in Singapore, as well as his reckless behaviour in Qatar, have taken a toll on Lawrence's behaviour towards the entire project. And now rumours have surfaced about Lawrence potentially thinking of selling the team yet again. Now, despite Alonso's decent performance and the two-time world champion winning seven podiums in 2023 so far, it seems like it's not enough for Lawrence to continue with the commitment of his F1 tenure. Everything started back in Lance's childhood days, when he and his father were visiting factories and one insider of a particular factory said, Father and son once came to our factory to look at it. I've never seen such an interested father and such a disinterested son. Well, I don't think somebody could blame Lance if he didn't really have the passion for pursuing an F1 dream, and after his latest behaviour in Qatar, it's obvious that this might not be the future that he envisioned for himself when he was a kid. And to top that off, his mother Claire Anne has also been putting a lot of pressure on her son to quit F1 racing after the horrendous crash he suffered during the Singapore GP, raising concerns about the well-being of her son. 
Even David Croft spoke about Lance potentially pursuing a career in other sports, such as tennis. And when talking about this matter, the Sky F1 pundit said, I think he's lost his mojo and whatever's happened, Lance just doesn't seem to be as motivated now as he was at the start of the season. I do wonder, he's the one driver on the grid you think, you're guaranteed a job as long as your dad is there and we've never actually talked about contracts for Lance Stroll. We've never looked at his future elsewhere, but I just have a little feeling that in about a year and a half's time, Lance Stroll will race his last race in Formula 1 and go off and do something else. I don't think Formula 1 was the sport he wanted to go into when he was younger. I mean, he played tennis when he was younger, and he was one of the best youngsters in Canada at the time, and I just wonder if he might go off and find something that fulfills him more and brings more excitement to him. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense for Lawrence to step back and try his luck in some other motorsport categories, such as Le Mans 24 and World Endurance Championships, and these are the categories that Lance Stroll might actually try his luck in. After all, who are we to judge his performance in Formula 1? If you look at Antonio Giovinazzi, he was also a very struggling driver in Formula 1, and now you'd see that he was the winner in Le Mans 24 for Ferrari. Stroll did win the F3 Championship in a competition with Russell, and he did win a couple of podium finishes as well as a pole position with Racing Point and Williams. So it's not like he is the Latifi of the sport. He's just fallen too deep into his comfort zone, and he cannot recover from that as long as his seat is not under a direct threat from his father. There is one very important thing that we need to mention here, and that is Aston Martin's recorded loss in 2023. It has doubled compared to the previous year. Obviously, the UK-based team's primary project is building supercars and competing in the car market outside of Formula 1, and they're using the most elite racing competition in order to promote their brand even further. After all, they do have a commercial partnership with Mercedes outside of F1, and now that they signed the contract with Honda, it's it seems like the partnership with the German brand is going to take yet another hit, and that would ultimately force Aston Martin to cut costs, meaning they might give up on the F1's luxury project. Now, if you're Lawrence Stroll, you'll have a very difficult decision in front of you. You can't fire your own son because that would create such a displeasing vibe between both of you, and you won't be able to pursue a close family relationship after that move. But it would be the best for the team because right now, anybody in that seat would do such a better job than Lance. Although not many expected him to be fighting close with Alonso, who is a two-time champion in the sport, nobody also expected Lance to barely make Q2 and Q3 appearances and fight with the Alfa Romeos and Hasses in the back of the grid for the majority of the season. Right now, the offer from Aramco stays at $800 million, and Lawrence would definitely have some math done back at home, which could be replaced with pure logic. His son's deficit to Alonso is way too big. He doesn't have any pace in the races, and he's causing massive crashes that only hurt the team more in a financial way. That's definitely repelling investors from investing in the team. And with Honda knocking on the door in 2026, things could get chippy, as they did pursue Red Bull to put Sonoda in one of their seats in Alpha Tauri. With this in mind, do you think that there is a chance that Lawrence will sell Aston Martin and effectively end Lance Stroll's career? Let us know in the comments down below.